tune's scaring it. Haven't you never seen a top? No, never. I'm sorry, I didn't. Oh, that's all right. Good morning, good afternoon, good whatever, good evening if you're watching this this evening. Uh, it's Paul here from Unusual Things. Now today we are in Toddington Cemetery and we have come to find the final resting place of Jack Wilde. You may be saying, who is Jack Wilde? Now of course Jack Wilde was an actor. He was probably best known for portraying the Artful Dodger in Oliver and he was also in a programme called Puff and Stuff. If you haven't seen that, it's a bit weird talking trees and tapes and all sorts it's bonkers it's absolutely bonkers if you haven't seen it go and check it out now the sun's out and it's really bright in my eyes so i'll just turn this way a little bit um yeah so jack wilde an amazing actor um lived an excessive lifestyle like many of the people we <laughs> come to visit have done over the years um, he even admitted that himself that he was a walking time bomb Passed quite young, about 53, I think it was. So uh, I'll tell you some more information about him real soon. Uh, don't forget, if you liked the video today, please give it a thumbs up. If you haven't done so already, uh, please subscribe to the channel. It's absolutely free. It doesn't cost you a thing. And hit that notification bell and you'll be notified when the new videos come up. Now, uh, I've got to say as well, thank you as always to all the members because there are memberships that you can have within the channel. And also thank you to everyone that donates. It really helps, it goes a long way. Um, I do have a PayPal link in the description um, because YouTube usually take a little bit of it if it goes through the other way. Um, so thank you to all those people that do donate. It helps with the fuel, um, you know, traveling, overnight costs, everything. It's all expense, yeah? Um, and it's good and it really helps me out a lot. So thank you so much to those kind people to do that. And um, just thank you for watching as well. Uh, it's really important that I get the views on the uh, videos which help maintain and obviously enable me to carry on doing this as long as you want me to, okay? So thank you everyone. Uh, right, we'll get on now and I'll tell you a little bit more about Jack Wilde and we're going to find his final resting place. Jack Wilde, 30th of September 1952 to the 1st of March 2006, was an English actor and singer. He is best known for his role as the Artful Dodger in the film Oliver 1968, for which he received an Academy Award nomination for Best Supporting Actor at the age of 16, becoming the fourth youngest nominee in the category. He also received BAFTA Award and Golden Globe Award nominations for this role. Wilde also starred in the television series H.R. Puff and Stuff 1969 and its film adaptation Puff and Stuff 1970, as well as in the films Melody 1971 and Robin Hood Prince of Thieves 1991. He was born into a working class family in Royton, Lancashire on the 30th of September 1952. In 1960 at the age of eight, with his parents and his elder brother Arthur, he moved into Hounslow where he got a job helping the milkman, which paid about five shillings. While playing football with his brother in the park, he was discovered by theatrical agent June Collins, mother of Phil Collins. June Collins enrolled both Jack and Arthur at the Barbara Speak Stage School, an independent school in Acton, West London. The Wilde brothers saw acting roles to supplement their parents' income. In the autumn of 1964, the pair were cast in the West End theatre production of Lionel Bart's Oliver. Arthur in the title role and Jack as Charlie Bates, a member of Fagan's gang. Wilde was chosen to play the Artful Dodger in the 1968 movie version of Oliver. His performance received critical acclaim and several nominations. Academy Award for Best Supporting Actor, nominated at the 41st Academy Awards. Golden Globe Award for Most Promising Newcomer, nominated at the 26th Golden Globe Awards. BAFTA Award for the Most Promising Newcomer, nominated at the 22nd British Academy of Film Awards. His TV work, Wilde with the title character role in the NBC children's series, H.R. Puff and Stuff, 1969. In the spring of 1966, Wilde left the stage school of Oliver to make the film serial, Danny the Dragon, for the Children's Film Foundation. 
His first speaking roles on TV were in the episode of Out of the Unknown, and in the third part of the BBC's version of the Wesker trilogy, I'm talking about Jerusalem. He also appeared in episodes of Zed Cars, The Newcomers and George and the Dragon. At the 1968 premiere of Oliver, Wilde met brothers Sid and Marty Croft, who thought he would make a good lead for a show they were developing called H.R. Puff and Stuff. He starred as Jimmy in Puff and Stuff's only season, 1969, as well as in H.R. Puff and Stuff segments in the second and final season of the Banana Splits adventure, Hour and in the film Puff and Stuff 1970, which was released shortly after the show was concluded. Wilde then appeared in Melody 1971 with Oliver co-star Mark Lester and Flight of the Doves 1971 with another Oliver co-star Ron Moody. In 1972, Wilde appeared as a stowaway in a BBC's episode of The London Line. In 1973, he played Reg in The 14, a film directed by David Hemmings. On television, Wilde appeared in a BBC adaptation of Our Mutual Friend in 1976. During the early 1970s, Wilde was considered a teen heartthrob alongside David Cassidy and Barry Williams. In 1999, Wilde lamented, When I first entered into the show business, of course I didn't mind playing younger roles. However, it did bug me when, at the age of 21, I was being offered the roles of a 13-year-old. I'm not saying I didn't enjoy playing these roles, I had barrels of fun. I just wanted more serious and dramatic roles, and it's that simple. He also embarked on a recording career, releasing the Jack Wilde album for Capitol Records, which contained the single Some Beautiful in the early 1970s. He also released the albums Everything's Coming Up Roses and Beautiful World for Buddha Records. He returned to the big screen in a few minor roles, such as the 1991 Kevin Costner film Robin Hood, Prince of Thieves, and as a peddler in Basil in 1998. For the most part, he spent the remainder of his career working in theater, Wilde's last major appearance was at the male lead, Mouse, in Taylor Goodman's rock musical, Virus. The show ran for two weeks at the Theatre Royal Nottingham in 1999. For his final film appearance, he had a minor role in Sacco and Chips, 2005, in which he once again worked with Ron Moody. Wilde first met Welsh-born actress Gaynor Jones when they were around 12 years old at the Barbara Speak Stage School. After he left in 1966, he did not see her again until Christmas 1970. They married on the 14th of February 1976. She left him in 1985 because of his chronic drinking. He then met his second wife Claire Harding when he was working with her in Jack and the Beanstalk in Worthing. They married in Bedford in September 2005. In 2001, Wilde was diagnosed with oral cancer. He blamed the disease on his drinking and smoking habits. He underwent chemotherapy immediately and had his tongue and voice box removed in July 2004, leaving him unable to speak. Wilde had to communicate through his wife Claire for the rest of his life. By 21, Wilde was an alcoholic. After exhausting his remaining fortune, he lived with his retired father for a few years. His alcoholism caused three cardiac arrests and resulted in numerous hospital stays. He was diagnosed with diabetes on the 14th of March 1983. His alcoholism ruined both his career and marriage to Gaynor Jones, who left him in 1985. During the mid-1980s, he often drank three to four bottles of vodka a week and typically drank half a bottle of vodka and two bottles of wine every day. He later admitted his alcoholism was so debilitating that he was incapable of performing any kind of work. He once attended a drying out clinic for drug addicts and alcoholics run by Pete Townsend. But after being dry for six weeks, he bought a bottle of champagne to celebrate the fact that he had stopped drinking. Wilde eventually became sober on the 6th of March 1989 after joining a support group, Alcoholics Victorious. He died on the 1st of March 2006 of oral cancer. He is buried in Toddington Parish Cemetery, Bedfordshire. He had been unable to speak for the last two years of his life following the operation in which his vocal cords and part of his tongue were removed. At the time of his death, he and his wife Claire had been working on his autobiography. She said all the material was there when Jack died. It just needed rearranging, editing and in certain sections, writing out from transcripts that Jack and I had made and recorded him talking about his life. 
The book It's a Dodger's Life was published in 2016, with a foreword by Puff and Stuff co-star Billy Hayes and an afterword by Clive Francis, an epilogue by Wilde's wife. So there's all the information there on Jack Wilde. What an amazing character. Uh, and he lived life to the full, didn't he? He really did. Now I've got to thank that man there, Dean, one of the grass cutters here. Um, uh, been having a chat, lovely bloke. And uh, yeah, it's always nice when you get talking to the funeral directors, grass cutters, pool bearers, anyone really, um, when you come into these places, you know, and you explain what you, you're doing and um, be polite and respectful. The guy's working and, uh, you know, they give you the most, helpful advice on anything that you want so that's great so thank you dean hopefully going to subscribe maybe we'll watch said he will said he likes this sort of stuff so i've been having a good look around and uh do you know what i think i found it to be fair you can't really miss jack's grave and with a name like wild and having the lifestyle he did he certainly lived up to it. And Dean, the grass cat out there, was telling me that Jack is an actual uh, Toddington boy. He's a local boy from around here. So that's um, great to know. Here we go. Jack Wilde, actor, 30th of September 1952 to the 1st of March 2006. Still so loved, still so missed. And of course, there's the musical notes there relating to his musicals and uh, singing that he did over the years. Jack Wild, so a massive thank you, Jack. Um, I loved Oliver, watching the film when I was a kid growing up. And um, yeah, I used to always like the Artful Dodger, great character. And uh, Jack certainly lived up to his name, Jack Wild. Bless you, thank you so much. And I love the headstone as well, it's just, you know, different. And so bless you, Jack. Amazing guy there. Sadly taken too young. Uh, but obviously had health issues and like I said before quoted that he was a walking time bomb due to his lifestyle smoke and drunk a little bit too much but you know people have to live their lives we can't judge them for that can we people have different ways of living their lives different stresses different things that trigger them or make them happy and uh, who are you and I to judge people on that you know um, none of us are all clean living saints are we so there we go jack wow brilliant great guy okay and a massive thank you to dean today the grass cutter really appreciate your help dean if you watch this he said you will do so uh thank you for that really appreciate that and you're doing a great job the grass is looking pretty mean around here i like it um, anyway guys, don't forget if you like the video today, please give it a thumbs up. If you haven't done so already, please subscribe to the channel, it's absolutely free, it doesn't cost you anything whatsoever. And uh, hit that notification bell and you'll be notified when the new videos come out. And most importantly, leave your comments. Were you a big Jack Wilde fan? Did you like his music? Did you like Puff and stuff? That was very psychedelic, don't forget to go and watch that. Or did you like him, of course, in the film, Oliver? I'll leave you with that. And I will see you all on the next one. Take it easy.